a song about a passing away of a loved one at number one on my fancy playlist the week of June 23rd, 2001 and I guess it's time to wrap it up now number one, Train with Drops of Jupiter Pat Monahan, the lead singer of Train uh, he wrote that song about the death of his mother she died of lung cancer now let me go back a little bit I remember when I first heard Train it was back, it was back a, a station, alternative radio station, they were pushing the heck out of Train. Meet Virginia was a big alternative hit. I think it was back in 1999 at this alternative station in Birmingham. 106.9, something like that, they pushed the heck out of this band. And they toured in Birmingham. They played some shows in Birmingham, too. So there was a lot of love for Train in Birmingham. And then Drops of Jupiter. Now, when Train was working on their second album, the record company, Columbia, said, we need a hit record. Give us a hit record. Pat Monahan went back to his childhood home in Pennsylvania. He was thinking about the death of, death of his mother. It was weighing heavily on his mind. He woke up one morning with the phrase, back in the atmosphere. And it was like, what if she never really went away? What if she's here, but it's different? She's back in the atmosphere. And he composed a song. About a week later, he got together with the president of, of, of Columbia Records. His name, I, I, he's a famous person behind the scenes. I never could pronounce his name. Donnie Einer, it's I-E-N-N-E-R. Very big behind the scenes back in the day. Einer, he played the demo for Donnie Einer. Uh, Einer. Pat, Patrick Moynihan made the demo, played it for Donnie Einer. Now, Patrick Moynihan was a little nervous. He's like, well, I don't know if he's going to like this or not. But Einer, or Einer, he loved it. He said, this is a Grammy. Get in the recording studio as quick as you can, and let's go ahead and get this on the album. And sure enough, it got two Grammys, one of them best rock song of the year. Train drives a Jupiter at number one on my fancy playlist of June 23rd, 2001. And uh, one other thing I want to say to you right now, even if you just watch one of the videos on this countdown, thank you very much. All this means a lot to me. This is it. Music, the soundtrack is an ongoing soundtrack. Take care.